We have to. Let's dive into the bio gland. Daily Dose, our top five moments from day two of competition here at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, presented by Bonsoy. And uh, this is always a lot of fun. We're going to kick things off with one of the sharpest performances I think that we saw today. Samuel Pupo, just on a magic board, Rich, and just coming to life. Yeah, the Zero Gravity JS and uh, one of the spiciest performances we saw all day long. Samuel Pupo just was on a total heater, just uh, playing and toying with these little waves out here, drifting over these sections. So much speed and agility. And uh, one of the fastest performances we saw today. This has been a brick wall for him uh, this round of 32. So he's breaking into the round of 16 for the first time this season. Couldn't have come at a better time. It was at the expense of Leonardo Fioravanti, who was looking pretty frustrated there. But uh, Miguel Pupo, happy for his bro. And then, of course, we had Caroline Marks, the reigning world champion, who's had some big results here in the past. Could she be our Bells champ this year? Wow, I wouldn't put it past her. I absolutely love the way she surfs on her backhand. She put on an absolute clinic. Highest wave, uh, 8.6, uh, 8.67, and uh, highest heat total, 15.67, so beautiful. Really uh, impressive. At number three, Siblik upsets Jack Robinson. A former CT campaigner, been to the WSL finals before. A real power nugget with plenty of punch. Uh, great to see the Nova Castrian back in form here. Some of the best performances on the forehand. Uh, riding the sharp eye, we saw Morks just uh, hammering these sections. Jeezy had a hard heat up against an inform. Jack Robinson as well. Really good battle this between these two. Both surfers really putting on a show. But Morgan is making his way through to that round of 16. Really impressed by Sawyer Limblad in tears after a losing performance in Portugal, but just gathered her emotions and put it into this performance. Oh, she did. I was so impressed with this. She had such a hard heat coming up against world number one Molly Picklum, and she just took it to her with surfing like this on her backhand, just turn after turn. It's just precision surfing. I mean, Molly gave it to her too, really. Wasn't an easy battle, but yeah, Sawyer just locking in that 8.5 and 717. Yeah, just was sort of destroying Molly, actually. I wouldn't say it was an easy battle. I mean, it, Sawyer just went to town. She did. Super solid. Great backhand uh, approach. You do see shades of, of Caroline Marks in, yeah. in her style, but it is definitely unique to her. But owning the number one spot in the Biogland Daily Dose for a second day in a row is Ellie Harrison, the 18-year-old from Barwon Heads, getting the job done and overcoming one of the toughest surfers in the women's draw in Tyler Wright. Yeah, well, we thought uh, we were going to see Tyler Wright get the three-peat done, but uh, Ellie Harrison just distinguishing those dreams. And uh, she did it in fine form up against an in-form Tyler Wright. It wasn't an easy beat, but she found the best waves and she converted on them. This is a huge step in the career of Ellie Harrison. Yeah, just powered uh, her way through her first run at the Challenger Series last season, finished 12th. That's pretty impressive. That, that was a really stacked field, a lot of talent in those Challenger Series ranks. But to, to rock up here after a victory at Surface, carried that momentum through to Bells. You know, she's a, proven to be a real force in this event. She is, and I have a funny feeling that she might continue to keep going all the way.